Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, and I'm a top author on training you with over 190K reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. This is the place to go for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. In this video, I will be speaking about Euro USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect of this market, then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, and by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which is currently testing a quite strong historical structure level for this market. From here, all this previous rejection to the upside was created. Again, here, the market tested its zone and rejected it to the upside. Again, here, again, here, and we can see how a few months ago the market tested this zone here and again here, both times rejecting it to the upside. So we can see how this area has been acting as a very strong historical support and demand zone. And if the market will reach it again, we could expect another potential rejection to the upside away from the area. Dropping down on the weekly, what do we see? Well, from a weekly perspective, we can see how the market is currently approaching that zone and we could expect a potential rejection to the upside. We could, we can also notice how in creating this move to the downside, the market is also printing an M pattern. And in general, after the creation of an M pattern, what we could expect is a potential move higher for the completion of the M pattern at the neckline, which is essentially the previous support turned resistance here from a weekly perspective. So there is the possibility to see some short-term bullish price action here for a completion of this pattern at the neckline. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now, from a daily perspective, first of all, I did speak about EURUSD quite a few times in the past. I spoke about it after this impulse and correction from here. I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this continuation to the upside. Then again, we had this impulse to the upside correction from here. I explained all the reasons for which we could expect the creation of a higher high. And after this impulse, well, I explained why we could expect a correction and then more bearish continuation essentially for the market to go and test that monthly support and demand that we have just identified here on the monthly time frame at the beginning of the video. Now, in a situation like this, it could be any moment the market could shift from a daily bearish market to a daily bullish market. In fact, at the moment, we clearly have bearish structure here from a daily perspective with the market creating lower lows and lower highs. The very last move was this impulse and correction with the market retracing exactly to the 0.8 382 of the Fibonacci taken on this daily impulse, showing how this bearish trend is actually quite strong. In fact, if you have a, an impulse and you want to measure the correction, to measure it, you have to take your Fibonacci on the impulse. And if the correction is only to the 0.382 before then the market continues lower, this shows how essentially you have a strong market with a strong trend, which in this case is a bearish trend from a daily perspective. So what we need to wait for before the market could be considered a bullish market once again from a daily perspective is a potential break above this previous high. In fact, until the market will remain below this previous high, it can easily continue to the downside. However, if and only if we get a break above this current high, at that point, the market could be considered shifted essentially from a daily perspective, from a daily bearish to a daily bullish market. So. If the market actually breaks after a break on the retest of the previous resistance turn support, this is where essentially we would have very good probabilities for a potential rejection to the upside for the market to complete this daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, and we check the data precisely for the euro, the first thing that we have to keep in mind is that all currencies on the spot 
are traded against the USD. So if you're checking the data for the euro, you're actually already checking euro USD. And what we can see here with the last reports is that we went from having 143k net positions all the way up to 187k net positions, showing how clearly institutions are moving to the bullish side of euro USD, reaching 258k longs compared to only 71.6k short. So clearly institutions are adding longs and closing shorts. Now this makes euro quite strong, considering that we're also approaching that very strong monthly demand and support area from which there is the possibility of a potential move higher. So to recap, until the market will remain below this high, it can easily continue to the downside. However, if we get a break above this high on the retest, how we could be approaching a potential move higher. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames. So for our and lower. Therefore, what we could be doing, potentially also with students, is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the downside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we would have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bearish to a bullish market and provide to us one of our valid entries, at that point, we could be looking for a potential move higher for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and these kind of things, you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website. The link is also in the description here. You have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses with all the rules of the strategies. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns with the telegram signals, the CUT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you scroll lower here, past the testimonials, you will see that at the moment there is a massive special promotion in which you have a huge upfront discount on the price of the mentorship program from 497 all the way down to only 97. And as an option, since I have partnered with the Forex broker Blueberry Markets, if after you join the mentorship program, you open an account with them directly from your student dashboard and essentially move your trading there, you can get a full refund credited back into your trading account. And if you scroll lower here, you will see that there is still time to join before the offer expires and price goes essentially back to normal. And directly here, you can join to gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the checkout process. So definitely looking forward to have you on board. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education, and updates for all of you. And I will see you in my next breakdown.